From Glenn Schmidt's Lanes in Newport, Kentucky, I'm Tom Verado along with Dave Newrath and Sam Coleman. We've reached the moment we've all been waiting for. Ray Tucky Perez in the championship, King of Bowling. First ball, our king of last week oh. has not skipped a beat at all. Twirl him up, Gomez. Oh, he's hot on a stove right now. Well, from the Lurie Lanes, we have Charlie Goldfitz here, and then we have uh, Jerry Bettinghouse from Crossgate, and we have Tom Gray from Lozantaville with the state leaders here right now is uh, the bankrupt Boers, 31-16, and Alex Ohio from Kentucky, Covington, Kentucky, 3,077. Wayne Chairman going to earn his money today, knocking off Rick Pollard in the first game, Bill Heffel in the second game, and now trying to do something that some bowlers may consider impossible. Beat Ray Tucky Perez and his black and red lucky colors. Well, if Tucky would win today, we would have Rick Pollard and Ron Hunt on. They may have to have a roll-off Ron Hunt and Rick Pollard, who both got seven left. Gomez, look, look at, at that. him on oh, the bench. Tucky's ready. Thinking about it, talking to himself. He wants it bad. Yeah, Liz Fox is leading the girls, F-U-L-K-X, with 668 out there at Durban Bowl. Boy, you have to give Sherman his consistency all day long. He has never waned when uh, he meets. He's never done. waned. Never waned. Never waned. waned. Sherman. Oh, boy. Pardon the pun. <clears throat> That's why you're a pro at this time. Yeah, that's right. A wizard with words. <laughs> a wizard with words. Oh, well, uh, even Kate Mullaney would like this show. She's a faithful viewer every week. We've got a lot of faithful rooters in this town, oh, don't we, Sam? And oh, it's, you're not kidding. It's a great, great bowling city, and fans hold on. Not only do we have a regional at Super Bowl now every year, there's a chance that Cincinnati can become a national tour stop in the next couple of years. Sherman leaving another pin up there. As evident by Bob Rathgeber's article, the well, certainly the uh, great Inquirer sports writer, writer from the Inquirer. He he has done a lot ever since I've I've been in Cincinnati now nine months. But uh, he seems to promote bowling probably just as well, if not if not better than anyone. Oh, well, well, sure, he's he's hepped up on the game, Sam. After all, his uh, sister. You know that Lisa. story. Lisa. Sure. Lisa Rathgeber. How about her? She's on the LPBA. She was the leader on the Pro Tour last year. Lisa was. See her a lot in the top 20 at these women's stops. Along with a lady that I used to work with back in Pennsylvania, Patty Costello. Oh, yeah. Patty. I knew her. Tucky's got his wife, Sherry, here. She's cheering him on. Biggest cheerleader. Tucky Perez, second frame. After Oh. That could have been disastrous. Could have been. Right lane again, jumping off just a hair harder than the other lane, Tom. Tucky Perez is going to figure it out. Wayne Sherman's going to get in there and strike out. We're going to have a barn-burning finish. Wayne Sherman switched balls in the last game uh, to a blue ball. I, I was watching Tucky in the uh, practice, working with a mustard color ball, Dave. Well, you know, the, the colors are a, um, a marketing thing for the ball manufacturers. The color itself really has nothing to do with it other than identification. We are dealing with different surfaces, uh, polyurethane as opposed to plastic as opposed to rubber, and different hardnesses and all those types, Tom. So you really, speaking of wizard, you have to be a wizard to figure out what ball to use sometimes. Well, they checked all the balls before the show, and they're all around 78 hardness. Doing the Tucky's doing a little manicuring on that ball in there right now. Yes, uh, you know, we've spoken of him because he's probably showed up just as much as myself, you, and Sam uh, <laughs> on the show this year. But uh, we call him Ray Tucky Perez. Dave Newrath, you want to give us the explanation on why? A lot of people have come up to me and said, Tom, why do they call him Tucky? And I'm tired of hearing you call him Tucky. There he is again with the strike in the third frame. So enlighten us, oh great one. Tell us why he becomes well, to the people who know him. I hate to admit that I don't know what's going on either sometimes with this stuff, Tom. So I asked Tucky. I figured just go straight to the horse's mouth. Get a chance to see the score here. Yeah. Tucky's got 40 in the second with a strike, and Wayne has 19 in his fair up. But Tucky from Kentucky, that's what I always heard. Tucky, Tucky said, I don't know, ask my mom. Oh. Ask his mom. So I asked his mom, and she said, right after this... 
Sherman with the strike in the third frame. You're keeping everyone you at the edge of their seat, Are you ready? Uh -huh. Shall we give you a drum roll for this? <laughs> she said, I used to call him my little Kentucky kid. Kentucky. So, Sam, you were right. You Ken guessed it. Kentucky from Kentucky. That's right. And what do we have for Sam? For Sam, prizes? Sam, you get, to, you get an all-expense-paid vacation in Newport. There I do, go, really? Two days and six nights. Gee. I've spent a lot of time over here. So have I. It's a great entertainment area. You're telling me. <laughs> Afraid to okay. go home sometimes. Back to the situation that happened. Oh, yes. oh look at He's running it out. German three dancing lanes three lanes up. He's loose. The strike. You guys are going to have to tell me about these nights in Newport, I. Eh? Now, we've paid a few dues over here already. I'm sure. That Wayne, he got that blue ball out. He should have come up to that out of retirement early. Does he want it? Oh, does, does he, he have want it? Uh, he, he's going to make Tucky think a little bit now, I think. He wants Gomez, Perez, El Primo. Doesn't mean a thing to Wayne Sherman. He wants the title. He wants the 750. Uh, 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 he's not going to take it away easily from Tuck. Tuck with another strike. Last uh, week, when he, when he took... We have the replay oh, here. Replay. Let's no, take a look at I it. I don't believe it. There he is, throwing an excellent shot. Great job out in the truck, guys. Look at this. Fried five, medium rare, right there. Ten pins in the pit. Everything doing their job. <laughs> Tucky Perez, as we said last week, knocked off the two-time king, Allen Downs, 250 to 221. In that 250 game, Tucky with nine big X's. Oh, oh. He's got that shirt on him. Look at there's, Sherry there's his wife, Sherry. <laughs> well, look at Sherry. See how sweet it is. Our alternate over there is Kevin, Kevin Brown. Excellent. We're going to make up for lost time in the other games, oh. folks. Let's watch it. Slow-mo replay. Hacksaw. Oh, how Hacksaw about that? Hacksaw pins out of there. Oh, Sherry, Sherry got excited. And yes. there went the machine again. And Sherry's figuring out how she's going to spend that $750. She doesn't have to think. I told That's her to great. eat the money just to glory. Just the glory. Well, right. maybe for Tucky. But I'm sure those 750 bills come in handy, too. Too wide. Oh. A little too wide. Uh, Don't do that against Tucky Gomez. Perez. I would say he went the scenic route on that one. Pay extra for a shot like that, don't you, Sam? That's right. Wayne Sherman. Really earning his money today. Well, we got the junior traveling league here today. The boys and the girls are, are here. Blue ball and all. Just one pin in an open frame. Look out. And you don't like to make a forecast, but... Oh, but... Not against this guy. Not against Tucky Perez. That could be the kiss of death, I think. Sherman really has to stand back fall back and rehash, as we like to say. Remember one of these, Sam? Oh. You used to start bowling bad, you put one of those in a yeah, little stopper. A stopper, that's right. When I first started bowling, that's all, everybody thought you did that every frame. And I see. And well, that, that's a lady's rule, I think. <laughs> Wayne Sherman. Right over 10, what's going to happen? Oh. Week 10. The 10, still standing. Sixth frame, that coming off an open frame for Wayne in the fifth. Oh, well, Wayne. oh Wayne's got 92 in the fifth, and Tucky's got 40 with a three-bagger up, a turkey. You know what goes good, good with turkey? Yep. Beautiful, don't you know that? Beautiful. Of course I know that. Sam to wash it down. Sure. Beautiful, uh, celebrating their 100th anniversary. Good. Can finally brew the beer, of which Dave Newrath has consumed his share. I won't get into specifics because I'm not a mathematician. Please, please, in case my insurance man is listening to him. What is going on here with Tucky Perez? Well, I'll tell you. Wayne Sherman knows that if Tucky throws two more right here, even though it's only going to be the seventh frame, his work is going to be almost insurmountable. Throws such a pretty ball. Well, that's a break for Wayne. Let's let's take a look at it here on the replay time. Throws a good shot, but he arcs it out a little bit. The ball's not quite rolling as strongly. Six pin into the channel does not come out. 
Chucky wasn't all that excited about the reaction. Yeah, but he didn't like that at all. Make the spare, come back, throw a couple of more. See what happens. So the 1984 Cincinnati Bowler of the Year, just rolling along. He's got a 27 pin lead right now. 119 to fifth to 92. Uh, Tucky's tough, I'll tell you. He... Tucky had to see a certain amount of encouragement from yesterday's uh, PBA title game out in St. Louis. Two gentlemen who had not won a title. Uh, two gentlemen fairly new to the tour. Tucky, an aspiring professional bowler. Not going to hurt his chances on oh. this track. Another strike. Well, we've talked about it in the past, Sam, and, and you know how it is. Tucky's got as much talent as it takes. We really don't know what secret ingredient it, it takes to become a successful pro. Tucky's credentials would tell us that he would probably be pretty doggone good out there. Let's get him some backing. Let's get him out there. Let's see what happens. We'll sell some franchises, maybe. Well, let's see. I got uh, $20, $20 or $30. Hey, you're changing your pocket, Dave. There's Sherman. Sherman in the seven. The quick eight. <laughs> it did kidding with a quick eight. Four seven. Let's take a look at it here. A chance to get into the match. What's he do? He throws a great shot. But watch the head pin. Center your screen. Go to the wall. Or go right back. Drive the uh, two pin around the four seven. The quick eight. It's an easy spare, but a bad break for Wayne Sherman. He needed it. It was that same two pin that... Dave Ozio used yesterday to uh, put the heat on Gilgem in that final match of the uh, PBA. Sherman <laughs> picks up the spare in the seventh frame. Take a look at the scoreboard. Well, Sam. in the score, uh, Tucky's got 139 in the sixth with a strike up, and uh, Wayne's got 110 in the spread. It's a 29 pin spread in the sixth. But Wayne's got to go to work. He's got to get that baby blue working again. That's right. 29 pins is not insurmountable, but three frames, you're running out of paper. Wayne Sherman has to throw X's from here to the wall to put any kind of pressure on Tucky Perez. Nice ball. Oh. And nice results. Strike here in the eighth. So You're really Sherman. starting to pick up on this stuff. Oh, You're he, calling that before it got to the arrow. Well, well sure. you know, when when I'm sandwiched between two of the greatest bowlers that Cincinnati <laughs> has seen, in Dave Newrath and Sam Coleman, it makes my job very easy. And I'll tell you what. You mean it's rubbing off on you? I, I believe so. And if it doesn't, there's something wrong with myself. <laughs> <laughs> I will not resist the opportunity to gain as much knowledge as possible. Oh. Sam, oh. who's buying breakfast? You or me, Sam? Well, it looks like I'm going to have to buy it the way it is. <laughs> Six pin count. Don't go away. If you're going to go to the refrigerator, come on back because we've got a match. Difficult spare. Tucky Perez driving right straight through the nose, leaving the three, the six, the nine, and the ten. Is this like last week we saw... Uh, you have to hit, you have to have a mini pocket here, Dave. It, 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 the nine to. pin complicates the whole thing, Tom. He's taken, that's what I just said. The that's nine right. pin complicates <laughs> the whole thing. It, uh, if you don't hit the three pin heavy enough, we're going to watch here how, how not to do it. He does arc the ball out too wide. He's relying on that incredible turn to come back, drive through the three and the six to get the nine. But you see a deflect there? Missing it by about an inch. Tucky Perez let Wayne Sherman right back into the match. Five strikes. Tucky comes up with an open. Now we're in the ninth frame. In the ten pin. He says, I ain't going to fall. No. Oh. It can be interesting here when Wayne gets a couple strikes the next two frames. No. Okay, what we have here is uh, 167, obviously, in the eighth for Tucky Perez. If he spares, throws three in the tenth frame, he's going to have a 217. Wayne Sherman can go out for 220. This could possibly be the pay ball right here. Wayne Sherman, who also has an open frame here, coming back in the fifth, working off a strike, ninth frame, Tucky Perez just looking. He knows what he has to do come the tenth frame. It's out of his hands right now, Tom. If Wayne Sherman wants it, he can jump up there and take it. Four strikes, wins the title this week.
talking to the fans, <laughs> coaching them, and I think maybe he has a little more magic over those pins than we might see from the line right now. Look at this, Dave. Not an excellent shot by anyone's standards, but effective. The ball skating out, not going into the roll. Head pin into the wall, coming back, yeah. kicking the four into the five, the five pin over, and look at Gomez's reaction. Yeah. He is just, he knows what he has to do, and he knows how much that open frame and the eighth frame cost him. Exactly, Tom, and, and what is competitor, to, we've talked about this before, there is no competitor. It's you. Wayne Sherman can jump up and win it. Tucky Perez can win it. It's too wide. Mm, you call that. Way, way, way too wide. Fast feet, wanting it a little too bad, Tom. Topping the ball, sending it wide. Tough, tough leave. Wayne Sherman has to hit the left side of the head pin, throw the head pin into the 10 for a mark. Well, he's going to make this to make Tucky mark, really. When a bowler of the caliber of Tucky Perez gives you an opening like that, do you tend to become a little over-anxious, Dave? Well, I think that's exactly what did happen right there, Tom. Uh, for all intents and purposes, this match is over. But that doesn't belittle Wayne Sherman at all. He wanted it. He knew he had to throw him to get Because Tucky, let me tell you what, automatic. If he needs them, they're going to be there. Wayne Sherman knew that. We saw that last week in the match against Bob Glandor. Really doesn't mean anything. Tucky, in that match, beat him 235 to 234 with three straight strikes down the stretch. Sherman out at 184. Tucky just rolling him. He is going to be our king of bowling for week number four. And you give this man a little bit of momentum, we could see him around week number 12, too. In addition to him qualifying week in and week out, <laughs> not giving anyone a chance. Over at Durban, we have uh, Rick Hensley. That's where we'll be next week in Lawrenceburg. Tucky Perez at 727. And Rick Pollard at 7-11. And Sam will be qualifying. Ron Hunt at 7-11 also. Hunt will probably be there. Will definitely be there now. It looks like now. Well, unless well, someone today runs up and gets him, Tom. Another strike for Tucky Perez. Another in the long line of strikes. And Tucky Perez becomes king of bowling for week number four, beating Wayne Sherman 205 to 184. When we come back, the time all bowlers wait for, the payoff here on the BPA King of Bowling, right here on Channel 5. Week 4 payoff time. Dave Newrath and Sam Coleman, why don't you spill the moolah right now? I spilled it uh, in the beginning of the show, calling the best show of the year. We did have some great bowling. Scores weren't quite what we expected, but Rick Pollard going down in the first game. $150, Rick. You can buy a few spare parts for the bowling alley. Bill Halflin. Uh, normally used to seeing Bill in the 230, 240 range, and I'm not talking about his weight. It's $225 today for losing in our second match, but a great, great show again, Bill. Sorry. Wayne Sherman, I thought you had it, buddy. I thought you were going to take off Gomez Perez. You looked hot. Tenth frame, ball got away from you. $375. Not bad, Wayne. I'm sure you'll be back. Tom? Another stellar job, Dave and Sam. Thank you very much. A man who is here just as much as Dave, Sam, and myself, Ray Tucky Perez, $750. Another king of bowling. Thank you very much for week number four. Now, a question. Most people would have been happy with the 205. You were a little disappointed. What was wrong? Well, the way Wayne was bowling coming into that game, uh, he looked like he was lined up. I started off good, and I gave him a chance to nail me there in the 10th frame, and I was looking upstairs for some help, and I got it again. Still hot, though. Thank you very much, and thanks for everybody for coming out here today. Appreciate it. Ray Tucky Perez, our king of bowling for week number four. Week number five, we'll be over in Lawrenceburg, Indiana, at Durban Lane. So we'll see you next week on the BPA King of Bowling. BPA King of Bowling. Brought to you by the Beautiful Brewing Company.
America's great small brewery.